Have you ever heard of an antibody cocktail? Although you might be picturing this, an antibody cocktail is actually a mixture of proteins that defend our body against various harmful diseases. Similar to a bartender that mixes several ingredients together to make different cocktails, scientists can mix various antibodies to make treatments for different viruses. Scientists have actually curated promising antibody mixtures to target the new coronavirus that causes COVID-19. One of these treatment cocktails is called Regen COV, which was created by Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. This treatment is composed of casarivimab and imdivimab antibodies that are specifically related to fighting SARS-CoV-2. These molecules are made in a lab based on human and mice immune systems. Together, they're administered to a patient through an IV infusion or a shot. But how does the treatment work? The way the immune system works is similar to a battlefield. The body studies the enemy and then creates soldiers to fight against the intruders. In this case, the enemy is the coronavirus variants. The antibodies are the soldiers. The body deploys these specific soldiers, casarimivab and imdivimab, which can attack the spike proteins on the virus. When our bodies are introduced to new pathogens, or invaders, they begin to create antibodies to defend themselves. This is why people who have gotten sick before, or who were introduced to a virus through a vaccine, are better adept at fighting against that virus. This treatment is designed to help naive patients, or patients who do not yet have this protection. While the theory behind monoclonal antibody treatment is logical, the question remains, is this treatment actually effective in humans? To test this, several clinical trial studies have been conducted. One such study tested the effectiveness of the Regeneron antibody treatment in about 2,500 people, including high-risk individuals. Every person in the study was initially uninfected but living with an infected person for about a month. Half the participants received the treatment and the other half received a placebo. So, what were the results? Monoclonal antibody treatment resulted in a lower risk of infection, lower risk of showing symptoms, less time being sick with said symptoms, and less time being highly contagious, by about one week on average. Overall, the treatment proved to be effective in preventing more infection and mitigating symptoms. But what about preventing severe disease outcomes, such as hospitalization and death in those already infected? Another study found that monoclonal antibody treatment led to a decrease in the risk of death, risk of needing a ventilator, and a decrease in the number of days spent at the hospital. This effect was seen in people with no previous exposure to the virus, either naturally through previous infection or by receiving a vaccine. However, this effect was not observed in people with some immunity already developed. Although this treatment is promising, it's clear that there are some limitations to when and how it can be used. Based on the results of these and other clinical studies, the FDA approved the Regen COV treatment for individuals that are at a high risk of hospitalization or death. These individuals must be either not fully vaccinated or immunocompromised. Immunocompromised individuals are not able to get fully vaccinated or vaccinated at all due to certain health conditions or even their medication. Individuals are able to get this treatment in two scenarios. The first being when the individual is exposed to an infected individual. The second is when the individual is at a high risk of being exposed to an infected individual. So for example, prisons or in nursing homes. In all of these cases, however, the individual must weigh at least 40 kilograms and be at least 12 years of age or older. Although the Regeneron antibody treatment seems promising for treating COVID-19, there are still some limitations. This treatment cannot be used in patients that are hospitalized or in patients that require oxygen therapy to breathe, either due to COVID-19 or another pre-existing condition. That said, this treatment is useful in preventing severe illness from occurring, but not in treating COVID-19 patients that are already experiencing severe symptoms. In certain cases, using this treatment may even worsen the illness. Despite these limitations, there are still clear instances where monoclonal antibodies are effective. So then, why are they not regularly used in Canada? There are two main reasons as to why this treatment is not popular here in Canada. The first is that they're incredibly expensive. The US has purchased about 3 million doses for around 2100 USD each, whereas Canada, with its free but limited healthcare system, has only purchased around 9,000 doses. Even if Canada had sufficient amount of doses, these monoclonal antibody treatments need to be administered at infusion centers, which are typically found within hospitals. Currently, there are not enough of these centers, however, Canada plans to set up more in the near future. At the beginning of the pandemic, healthcare professionals weren't able to do much for individuals who tested positive for COVID-19 but didn't require hospitalization. This meant that they simply let the virus run its course. 
If the symptoms became very serious, then the individual would be treated with oxygen therapy or other advanced treatments. While these monoclonal antibody treatments are able to prevent the progression of symptoms, it's important to note that they are in no way a substitute for vaccination. Individuals who can get vaccinated should do so, so that their bodies can defend themselves without needing a $2,000 treatment. Monoclonal antibodies offer a unique solution to complications of COVID-19. This treatment option can save lives, but it's incredibly time-sensitive. Healthcare providers must be diligent in knowing when to add this to a patient's treatment plan, as proper timing can be the difference between life and death.